Well, 2023 has just been the biggest up and down year of my rather lengthy life. First, the ups. We started in Australia, New Zealand on a great three week bucket list trip we'd planned for several years. New sights, new sounds, new flora and fauna, new brews and wines, wonderful people. And then our beloved St. Louis Cardinals announced they were gonna play a two game series with their Midwest rivals, the Chicago Cubs in London, England. So I bought tickets. Well, then I researched airfare and decided for that amount of overhead, we'd spread this out a bit and spend four days in Ireland, where I mostly had fun scaring Margaret by clipping passenger side mirrors and rocks hidden under shrubbery along one lane cart paths. And we followed the three days in London with four more in Edinburgh, Scotland, to which we transited by rail. More new sights, sounds, flora, fauna, brews, wines, and whiskies. As the first trip was totally planned years in advance, this last one was completely ad hoc and just as enjoyable. Then in the fall, we embarked on a 5,000 mile road trip that saw us in northern Minnesota, the upper peninsula of Michigan, two days at the Ford Museum in Detroit, followed by three in old Montreal, a week around Smuggler's Notch in Vermont, and a couple of days in rural western New York on the way home. Again, a general roadmap but not much planned. We popped in on our grandson and his family in Northern Virginia for a long weekend, thanks to Southwest Airlines frequent flyer miles. And I just sent that family back home to Virginia from their long weekend visit here. And it was special to have my entire family all in one place, even if only for a couple of days. Sounds like we lead a charmed life this year, doesn't it? I guess we did, but now to the flip side. I can't remember a year when I've lost more friends, suffered more unpredicted tragedies in the rally world, or grown more exasperated at man's inability to figure life out. American politics, Ukraine, Israel, Gaza, anti-Semitism, immigration, the unhoused, inner city and even suburban and rural violence, mental health, congressional catatonia, rising costs. It's said that variety is the spice of life. Well, I guess this year was just a little too spicy for my tastes. My emotional tummy is upset. In 2024, I'm looking forward to some road trips with my friends and officiating at some rallies, mostly around the Midwest. It's always good to drive through rural America and eat and, and see the cafes and taste the local cuisine. We've also talked about getting to Alaska in the early fall. That would be our 50th state, another bucket list. I'm just holding my breath for the other side of the coin. We could use a break, but it's part of which I have no control. The serenity prayer is a good place to leave 2023. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Happy New Year. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.